So we have come uh, to the final chapter of the law on sales. I will be discussing chapter 9 which talks about the general provisions of a sale only for the sake of completion. Para nga naman nasabi ko sa sarili ko na na-discuss ko lahat ng chapters sa uh, uh, sales. So anyway, this is a uh, formality for uh, sake of uh, integrity. Diba dapat merong integrity of prestation. So if you will perform, you must perform completely. Kanya kasama ang chapter 9. So anyway, might I remind you class um, and to our other um, to the other students who are watching also uh, itong ating mga videos sa aking uh, YouTube channel that if you can please um, subscribe also medyo nag-improve na yung aking um, number of su subscribe subscribers vis-a-vis uh, -vis yung aking non-subscribers so medyo nag-improve naman remember if you subscribe here uh, to review RFBT you do not need to uh, pay unlike in review centers before you can watch yung kanilang mga tinuturo sa inyo yung mga reviewers you have to pay them a lot kano 10 15,000 here you watch for free so uh, the least you can do is to help your professor out by uh, subscribing to uh, this channel so anyway um for completion uh, may mic silang kasi uh, binigyan ko ng konting um, commercial baka sakaling mayroong mag uh, magandang loob na mag uh, subscribe sa aking channel so anyway the terms used in the sale of goods so this is 1636 which we have already studied ay uh, yung mga terms na to uh, all throughout so all throughout yung uh, discussions natin sa law on sales we have studied the following terms so terms in connection with the sale of goods not uh, uh, note that here real properties are not um, involved so anyway um, document of title to the goods so we have already defined this that uh, anything that will include yung bill of lading the quarant kedan in case of uh, uh, storage of sugar or warehouse receipt or order for the delivery of goods or any other document used in the ordinary course of business in the sale of transfer of goods. So, ang purpose ng document of type papilian na will evidence, remember, ownership doon sa uh, goods, syempre, uh, it will prove possession and control of the goods or um, at least it uh, proves yung authority nung possessor ng document to receive yung goods either by endorsement or by uh, delivery. So, pagka meron kang document of title, yung warehouse man, i-release niya yung uh, goods dun sa kanyang warehouse sa'yo na may hawak ng document of title na yan, which is in this case a warehouse receipt. Now, ikaw na may hawak ng document na yan, um, pwede mong i-transfer yung document and obviously yung goods evidence um, goods um, represented by the document goods in the warehouse represented by the documents you can um, transfer them uh, depending on what kind of instrument it is by um, as long as it is negotiable by uh, delivery in case this is a better document of title or by uh, endorsement plus delivery in case this is an order document of title. So anyway, tiniskas ko na yan. Kayang-kaya nyo na yan. Goods also, shuttles, personal, and also growing fruits or crops. Does not include rights in action or money of legal tender in the Philippines. Order. So this will relate to documents of title na pwede mong negotiate by uh, endorsement plus uh, delivery. So they are um, yung mga goods covered by this uh, order document is deliverable only to the person named in the instrument or to his uh, order kung sino ang in order niya na siyang makakatanggap noong um, mga goods na yan so usually delivered to x or order yan ang mga order documents of title or deliver to the order of X. So, the warehouse man is supposed to deliver to X, yung nakapangalan, sa instrument, or kung sino man ang inorderan niya. 
na pagdeliveran ng ins, uh, ng mga goods na ito. What else? Um, quality of goods, state or condition, hmm? common sense na to, specific goods, identified and agreed upon at the time of the contract of uh, sale. Chose in action, claim or right, which may be pleaded in suit at law. So, ang mga examples niya, claim of reparation in case of uh, quasi-delict or a right uh, acquired under a contract. So, not included in goods as I have mentioned a while ago. Also, legal tender currency which a debtor can legally compare a creditor to accept in payment of a credit um, as long as it is tendered in the right amount. So, not included also in the term goods which I have already uh, stated. Uh, take note also of uh, 13, 16, 36. Take note of antecedent or pre-existing claims. Remember, they constitute also value. So, what else? A uh, person who is insolvent cannot pay his debts as they become due. So, whether or not there, are, there is an insolvency proceedings, uh, proceeding filed, uh, pwede pa rin siyang uh, considered insolvent. In short, uh, pwede kang maging insolvent um, whether you are judicially declared as insolvent or not. Ayan. So, hindi kailangan ng court order para ma ma-consider ka as insolvent in short. Mas maganda yun. Anyway, uh, goods are in a deliverable state uh, when they are in a state that the buyer would uh, be bound to take delivery of them. What else? Um, take note also of uh, 1637, uh, sale subject to, uh, sale of immovable are subject to registration uh, laws. So, uh, remember, um, registration of documents or titles pertaining to immovable property, yun ang operative act that binds the property and will serve as notice to the entire world. So, pagka constructive notice to the public, it means that um, rights of third persons are not affect, uh, are not adversely affected by the sale of immovable property until after registration. So, in short, uh, third persons will be affected once you register your uh, title to the property. So anyway, that's it for uh, the law on sales. Our next topic will be yung barter followed by the bulk sales law. So anyway, uh, thank you class and have a good day.